Let's head up to City Field now and welcome in Alex Chappell, who has more on the clubhouse atmosphere after last night's tough loss for the Nationals. Alex, this team has been playing so well over the last, what, 10 weeks or so. Last night was a tough one. Hey there, Dan and Bo. Yeah, you don't want to put too much emphasis on any one game in August, but that was a big comeback victory for the Mets. This place was absolutely rocking. It was so loud as the Mets hitters put together an unlikely rally against Sean Doolittle on a night that the Nats closer said he just didn't have it. I don't have a lot of answers right now. Uh, I'm kind of searching and uh, kind of going over the inning in my head right now. <clears throat> and uh, the only thing I can think um, or one thing that, that jumps to mind is uh, I wasn't really happy with how the ball was coming out of my hand. Um, I looked up at the scoreboard a few times and saw some 91 and 92s. Um, and I might have been overthrowing, overcompensating, trying to uh, um, trying to throw a little bit too hard and do too much. I think he just couldn't get the ball up. You know, um, he's effective when he's up. He can't get through some balls. Um, now, you know, a little lower than normal. Um, but when he's up, he's effective. It stings a little bit, but we got another game tomorrow, and I absolutely love the way the guys played. I mean, we, we played good defense. They ran the base as well. Uh, came up with some clutch hits. Um, you know, we did everything right until the ninth inning, so we just got to keep keep pounding. I mean, like I told him before, hey, we come back tomorrow, we go 1-0, and uh, move on. I'm joined now by F.P. Santangelo. Hello, my friend. Hi. <laughs> well, that was a tough one here last night. Mets with 11 hits last night, seven, six of those, excuse me, coming in the ninth inning. What was your reaction as to how things transpired? Well, I mean, as a player, when you have a bad game or bad games in a ballpark, you have bad memories. I think Sean Doolittle's had some tough games in this place. But when you talk about his usage throughout his career. This year he's thrown 861 pitches in 50 games. Last year he threw 620 total. So he's been worked hard in the first half of the season and, and Bob and I have talked about it on the broadcast. I thought the big storyline after the All-Star break was going to be how Sean Doolittle did in the second half, how he holds up. Now I'm not saying he's gassed, I'm not saying he's hurt, anything like that. He's just throwing more pitches than he's used to. His career high, 1,019 and that was in 2013. So he's going to surpass that number right now. He might be tired but just a, a blip on the radar screen last night, Alex. And I think, you know, it, today's game, guys are so good at turning the page. You know, back in the day, we used to take the game home with us, and one loss would turn into five in a row. These guys were fine by the time they got back to the hotel last night. You make such a great point. And the Nationals have done such a good job at that, turning the page this season. But you look at last night, what effect, if any, can that have on the ball club moving forward? Yeah, I don't think any. I mean, you're only as good as your next day's pitcher. Patrick Corbin needs a good start. You know, he had a rough one last time out. So you need a good one up. Patrick Corbin and the atmosphere last night as you said was spectacular it was playoff style and the Mets players talked about it after the game guys that played in the 2015 World Series were saying this ballpark reminded of them that last night so you know it's a good atmosphere to play and as a player you love these kind of games and hey they need to win tonight they need to win tomorrow you need to win every game now I mean you can't let them slip away like you did last night no doubt FP thank you so much for your time yet yeah, talking with Trey Turner in the clubhouse he acknowledged tonight's a big one for the Nats guys back to you thank you Alex Thank you, FP, and we'll get that footage of you guys posing off camera to you shortly.